Mm. This doesn't feel right. Shouldn't there be more demons guarding the entrance? I suppose we should have expected this, considering where we are. If only we had some of the others with us, we'd be more even footed. We'll put up a barrier and try to hold it for as long as possible. That should buy you some time to take out the demons on that side. Fear of demons means better odds, right? I must take up arms and so be it. Ah, aren't you... Princess Knight, Yunika Tova, at your service. Much obliged. Do what you can with these beasts, if you please. We'll take care of the demons in the room's periphery. Understood. Dino, Aeolia, come! Yes, Father. Right away. You rotten creatures have turned all our lives upside down. And taken my dad away from me. So don't expect me to hold back! Nicely done. Father Superior, and you two are... um... <laughs> I guess there wasn't much time for introductions, now was there? I'm Dino, an acolyte of Solomon Shrine. And I am his colleague, Eolia. I'm Yunika Tova. It's nice to meet you both. Tova? Any relation to Commander Saltova? Oh, yes. I'm his daughter. You live up to your heritage, then. Your fighting style is gallant and graceful. Were I to wield a battle axe of that size? Well, suffice it to say, I'd have a hard time keeping my balance, let alone hitting anything. Well, you see, I can't use magic. So my strength is really all I have. Ah, uh, I see. This young lady was kind enough to volunteer her services in search of our runaway deities. So I suggest we put forth our best effort to find them. For their sakes, for ours, and for the commanders as well. Father Superior, thank you so much. But where are the other knights? And the sorcerers? Aren't they with you? I'm afraid not. Just as the service came in sight, our transport spell was disrupted by some outside force. Intentionally, as best as I can tell. Was that the impact I felt then? It was. And whatever hit us, it blocked out all ability to control the transport, resulting in a breakdown of the entire enchantment. We were scattered in all directions and hurled down to the surface quite unceremoniously. Though, it could have been much worse. Were it not for our individual barriers, the fall alone surely would have been fatal. Whatever force knocked us from the sky originated from this tower, so we've come to determine who's responsible, and for what reason. That doesn't explain why you're here, though, Unica. And all alone, no less. Oh, uh, well, about that. Could that really be true? Why would they come to such a dreadful place? I can't even begin to imagine. Father, we must find them at once. Indeed, there is no time to lose, sadly, even with our powers pooled. Our fighting skills are no match for the denizens of this wicked place. We need to reassemble the search party before we can begin in earnest. Of, of course. You're absolutely right. May I entrust this task to you, Dino? Yes, Father. Thank you. Using the Rota Tree as a base, I'll search the area via transport spell and round up everyone I can find. As for you... Young lady. Y yes Father Superior? There is no guarantee that a situation similar to the one we've just experienced won't recur. I'd like you to remain here with us until the rest of our party arrives, keeping a watchful eye for any more 
uninvited guests. Oh, uh, okay. Is something wrong? Uh, well, I was kind of hoping you might let me do a little recon. Just in the immediate area, of course. Not too far away or anything. I'd like to get in some combat training. So I don't let my guard down if the situation gets critical. I mean, I'm just an apprentice knight. And with no magic ability whatsoever, well, I'm just kind of worried I'll get in the way, you know? Mm. Admittedly, your reasoning is sound. But I would be remiss to blindly offer consent knowing the risks. Well, we need to learn more about this tower anyway, don't we? I mean, we barely know anything about it. Come on! Please! I'm up to it! I know I am! Very well. I shall personally explain the situation to Sir Galleon upon his arrival. Seriously? Oh, thank you! Thank you so very, very much! There is one condition, however. I must insist that you take this with you. What's this? Come over here, please. I'll show you. It's a statue of a monster. How twisted. Just watch. <gasps> wow! It's just like that, it's a goddess statue! But how? The best way to explain it would be to say that it's been returned to its original, natural form. When ease ascended, several goddess statues were left behind on the surface. It seems the monsters must have found one, brought it here, and changed it. Though to what end, I cannot say. Uh, oh... Lady Rhea, Lady Fina, I'm sorry I said you were twisted. I didn't recognize you like that. I think it's safe to assume that the other goddess statues have been brought here as well likely met a similar fate. Thus, the crystal. If you are to scout the tower, you may well encounter the other statues. They can purify them, just as I did this one. All right. Sounds easy enough. It's kind of like a portable blessing. Ah, but that's not all. It has another function as well. It can magically transport you to any purified goddess statue within the tower, with a blink of an eye. And the object itself is enchanted with this ability, so no magic will be required on your part. Like a lifesaver. Thank you again, Father Superior, for your blessing and for this crystal as well. Unica, I'd like you to take this with you too. Uh, shell? Another magical item. In this case, it serves as a communication device, allowing us to speak with one another across any distance. No matter where you may be, just talk into the shell. Unless I'm somehow indisposed, I'll hear you. If you should find yourself in need of any assistance, please don't hesitate to make use of it. Neat! Thanks a bunch. I'll take good care of it. Ah, uh, but before I go... Father Superior? Sister Iolia? Yes? Is there something else you needed? I, uh... I know I kind of just stubbornly forced my way to the search party. And now I've actually managed to convince you to let me go off on my own. So, uh, I just wanted to say, I won't let you down. I promise. Thanks for being so accommodating. I may not ever be as great a knight as my father was, but I'll do everything in my power to find our goddesses. You can count on me. I hope you'll be able to count on us too. We're all in this together, you know. We'll be right here if you need us. Do not hesitate to return for any reason. And may the goddesses guide your path. Please don't forget, if the situation becomes dire, use the power of the crystal. Let it bring you back to safety. I will. And may the goddesses guide your path as well. 